Alrighty, good morning everybody. Welcome back to part 27 of the Sims 3 Not So Berry Challenge. So the school bus is coming for Ev in an hour and the carpool is coming for Marie in an hour. Ev is gonna sleep. You know, she needs to catch up on her sleep. She was up late getting that homework done. She's a transfer student going to a new school. You know, she needs her beauty sleep. Unfortunately, Miss Marie does not get that. She has a toddler to take care of. So we're gonna, oh no! <gasps> oh no! <laughs> Love has blossomed between Calvin and Kaya. Are there wedding bells in the future? You're actually joking. Calvin, what the? <gasps> what? He is so back and forth, it actually blows my mind. I was ready to settle down and have him and Marie get back together. And now look at this shit. Oh my god. Um, we forgot to put the mac and cheese away last night, so that's disgusting. Unfortunately, uh, Marie does not get any breakfast today. Because she has to go to work. Um... I'm fucking pissed. Calvin and Kaya are officially together again. Um, I genuinely, like genuinely, genuinely do not know how I feel about this. I want to just really quickly, I don't know if I did this. I didn't. I think I'm going to keep it. You know, some places are like that. Um... Yeah, I, like, genuinely don't know how I feel about that because Calvin's always been, you know, like, that kind of person. You know, he's always been really back and forth. Um, I mean, he was married to Kaya. He divorced Kaya for Marie, had a baby with and got engaged with Marie, Got Kaya pregnant while he was with Marie. Marie dumped him. He got back with Kaya. They ended up splitting up. He's now kind of a thing with Marie again, but dating Kaya. Oh, this literally is going to change everything. Okay, so here's what I'm leaving it up to. I am not going to have Marie reach out to uh, Calvin at all today. Like, at all on Monday, not in this part, nothing. If... By the time on Tuesday, I'm ready for her to reach out and him and Kaya and Calvin are not engaged. Like if they have not taken that next step, I think she will ask Kaya, she will ask Calvin to break up with Kaya to start dating her. Now, that does not mean they're going to stay together. It does not mean they're ever going to get married. It just means they're going to be in a committed relationship again. So, that's kind of where I'm leaving it up to. It's up to you guys where their relationship really goes. Um, no, yeah, meet new friends. So, yes, it's up to you guys where their relationship actually goes. So, <clears throat> if by, we'll say by the time Marie gets off of work tomorrow, if Calvin and Kaya are not dating, I'm going to make Marie and Calvin start dating. Or no, if Calvin and Kaya are not engaged, I will make Marie and Calvin start dating. Um, so that's the plan. And then it's up to you guys where it goes from there. Do you want them to kind of like date, break up, date, break up, date, break up? Do you want them to stay together but never get married? Do you want them to like just literally anything? All you have to do is let me know. But holy crap, I'm so glad... <laughs> Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. I'm so glad I started recording when I did because what in the hell? Calvin is just literally every day blowing my mind. Just every goddamn day. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and skip until Marie is off of work. She gets off at two, so it shouldn't be much longer anyways. And I will see you guys then. All right, you guys, so Marie just got off work. She made 819 simoleons. Um, this town, I'm guessing it doesn't come populated, so it's going to take a day or two for Enros to naturally populate it because it said Evelyn has met all of her classmates. She knows Ashley 
And she knows Edith, and that's because Edith is the babysitter. So there's two teenagers in the whole goddamn town, apparently. So, yeah, that's... We're gonna have to give it some time to populate. I am just... She's so close. Okay, there we go. Um, we're gonna feed her in the high chair really quickly, uh, and then go take a nice... Probably a bath, you know? She's a little bit stressed. It's her first day of work. I'm sorry if the music is very loud for you guys also. Um, I just, it was like screaming in my ear, so hopefully it's not that loud for you. But yeah, we're going to go take a bath and then we're going to come back out here and just teach her how to talk because that's what we're starting with. I'm going to have Evelyn get the mail. We're not going to pay the bills just because we're moving out tomorrow anyway, so there's literally no point. Um, Smokey improved his to level 9. And Scout, while I was speeding through, or Scout improved his level 9 when I was speeding through, and Smokey improved his to level 8. And then let's actually sell everything. Ooh, there's one thing I want her to do. Sorry, I'm like so all over the place. I want to sign her up for an after school activity, and I think I want to do um, <clears throat> art club just because she's a little artist. So let's sell all of this stuff and see. How much money we get out of it we're gonna get a lot of money out of it holy crap ola you guys and we're never paying these so i'm just gonna toss them right there um we got like 12 000 17 000. holy crap oh my gosh lifestyle of the rich and famous she so would honestly i could see that for her but I don't want to give her a set lifetime wish yet just because she might be continuing the family. I still haven't decided if it's going to be Evelyn or Stella. I'm definitely not making any choices until Stella is a child. And I'm going to try and wait until they're both teenagers because they will both be teenagers for... Um, they'll both be teenagers for three days. So... It might be a little late to wait for Stella to become a teenager, but we'll see. We'll we'll do our best. Okay, so we're just going to let her out, and then let's go ahead and do our homework, um, and then we'll call and chat with our dad. You know, I do want to make sure that, um, I want to make sure that Evelyn and Calvin do keep that good relationship. I cannot believe we got so much freaking money. <clears throat> Okay, so yeah, we're going to teach her how to talk. Ideally, we would teach her walking and talking today, but realistically, I don't see that happening just because we've barely even started with talking. Um, but I am actually curious. I'm going to have her, we're not actually going to move, but I'm going to have her just say we're moving really quickly uh, to see how much money we have. Because I want to know kind of like budget-wise what I need to plan for. So we're going to bring everybody with. We're going to sell the furniture. Okay, so I have 94,000 simoleons to work with. Um, <clears throat> I might see... Oh, he's working. So call back in 6, 7, 8. Call back at 9 p.m. Honestly, that'll probably give us plenty of time to finish our homework and then we'll be good. So awesome. Let's go eat off the floor. Let's eat from the bowl. We'll chew on that. We'll chew on that. And what do we got for stuff? We got three of three friend Fred, so we'll give that to Marie. And then we have some palladium, rainbow gem, Tiberium, and whatever that was. I didn't really pay attention. You can sell this, sell this, um, all of this crap, supernova. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do all of that as well. Apparently, we can't eat this food off the floor. Is it, is it not in a good spot for you, Scout? Is my food on the floor not in a very good spot? I so apologize. Okay, so after we teach her to talk, we're going to go ahead and reconstruct and then get all of this stuff sent in. Oh my god, why is it so expensive? That is ridiculous. Oh, our, we're full. We're full. My bad. <coughs> oh my 
goodness. And you're still going to be hungry, so go ahead and eat. You need to come chew on this. Like, your destruction is so low. You need to come chew on this. Your destruction is so low. What are you doing, Smokey? Go. Um, she finished with her homework. Oh. Oh, it's not time yet. Um... Go finish your painting, I guess. We don't really have any... She literally has a laptop. I was about to say, we don't have anything to do for fun, but she literally has a laptop. Um, I'm just going to have her paint until 9. That is when Calvin gets off of work. So then we will... Um, we'll call him up. You know, like I said, I want them to have a good relationship. They are... Like, she's closer with her dad than with her mom, actually. And she lives with her mom and not her dad, so... That's pretty crazy to me, actually, and we're just going to sell that. I'm only keeping this one because it's the first one she ever painted. Let's actually frame it. Oh, my God, cute. That's adorable. I wish you could create, like, a signature for your Sims or something. I think that would be super cute. She can put a little signature on all of her paintings. I would love that. I don't know if every toddler is the same or if Stella is just a really slow learner, but Stella has been taking forever to learn, like, everything. Um, I'm going to have her make some autumn salad just because that mac and cheese we made last night we did not put away. So it went bad. And it's already almost 11 p.m., so the autumn salad um, will be quick and easy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you're actually joking. That's such bullshit. I wanted her to learn how to talk tonight. <sighs> go send that in to get cut too and then oh my gosh and then go over here we're gonna sell that for a thousand all right girl grab a plate put away and then go to freaking bed because you have school tomorrow and i am determined to get stella learning how to talk tonight so oh did we do our homework we did. Go, Ev. So, yeah, even if we have to stay up super late and Stella ends up crying, we're going to teach her how to talk tonight. Like, I do not care. Why can't I read her to sleep? I don't have any books. Love that. Go put Stella in her crib. And actually, I'm going to move them right now. Like, as soon as you teach her how to talk. Beautiful. Okay, so I am going to save the game literally right the second we're going to save the game. I'm going to move them. They're going to sleep in their new house. And then tomorrow I will show you guys technically today because it's Tuesday. I'll show you guys the new house. Um, oh, Ev, that's so sad. She signed up yesterday, so she didn't get to go yesterday. It's freaking leisure day on Thursday. She'll still get to go, though. She's got she's got two more weeks, so she'll still get to go a couple times. Okay, that's good. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm going to move them right now, so the next time you see them, they'll be waking up in their new house. I have really big plans for them. However, I don't know if I have the money for the big house that I was planning, so I might have to shrink it a little bit just to make everything fit, but... Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you let me know by giving it a thumbs up, commenting down below, and subscribing. If this part was a little bit shorter, I do apologize. Um, there wasn't a whole lot going on. We did teach Stella how to talk, which is amazing. She just needs to learn how to walk now, and she will be like perfectly perfectly set which i'm super excited for so anyways let me know if you guys like this video thumbs up comment subscribe you know the deal if you want me to give marie a makeover please just let me know because i know i said it in the last part but i am not really feeling her outfit i was trying to go for something different when i gave her the makeover and i just don't really like it so um if you want to keep it that's fine let me know if you want me to change it that's fine let me know but i'm gonna go ahead and go thank you so much for watching and i will see your lovely lovely faces in my next one bye guys